the assignment in front of you is broken up into three parts, okay? Three sections of 10 problems each. All right, I know right now you're looking at that and going, man, it's gonna take me forever. It probably won't, okay? You'll be surprised how quickly you can get it done. So in the first section of 10, okay? So from one to 10, okay? You are, each one is out of three marks, okay? Everything on the whole assignment is out of three marks. But for this section of 10, what I'm looking for is the following. I want the reaction written out in words. Okay, so you're going to write it out in words underneath here. That's the most important thing. You would not believe how many people don't do that even after I tell them. Make sure you write it out in words underneath. Okay, that's two out of the three marks. You get one mark for the reactants being right. You get one mark for the products being right. Okay, and your third mark is for balancing the chemical reaction. Okay, now, something we haven't been doing because we haven't had any fill in the blank questions is when we're balancing a reaction and there's only one of something, we haven't been writing anything. Now, if you do that here, it's hard for me to know whether you left it blank because you didn't know how or whether you thought it was a one. Okay, so please put ones in the blanks, okay, instead of leaving them blank. All right, just so that we're sure the question is done. Otherwise, it's, you know, I look at it, I'm like, is that done or is that not? Because there's a blank there, okay? All right, uh, so we're writing it out in words, okay? And so, like we said, there's one mark for the reactants, okay? One for the products, okay? And one for balancing. So three marks each in that first section of 10. Okay, questions on the first section of 10. All right. For the second section of 10, okay, I've given you the reaction, reactants and products in words. You need to write it out in formula form, identify the type and balance. Those are your three marks, okay? So you are going to identify what type of reaction it is, okay? That's one mark, okay? You are going to write an, an equation out, okay? So write the equation, okay? That's one mark and balance it. That's the third mark. Okay. What do you suppose people forget? Hmm? Exactly. Is that the easiest of the three marks? Absolutely. Please don't forget to write out what reaction type it is because that is the easiest of the three marks there. Okay. All right. So you've got 10 of those. Okay. Those ones go pretty fast. But here's the thing about this set of 10. If you forget some of those things we've been talking about, the special elements, swapping and dropping ionic compounds, it's gonna cost you marks in a hurry because you only get one mark for the reaction. You make one mistake and you don't get that mark. And if you make a mistake in the swaps and drops or forgetting to make a special element, will you get it balanced correctly? So you lose two. Okay, so you've got to really be mindful of special elements, okay, and swaps and drops. Okay, that's absolutely crucial. People lose marks because of that all the time. They have pretty much everything right, except they forgot chlorine was special, and then they don't get the reaction mark, they don't get the balancing mark, okay? Uh, so just be mindful of that. Last set of 10, you're predicting the products, okay? So you're predicting the products and balancing the reaction. So you get two marks for your products and one mark for the balancing, all right? So, um, Okay, so that's where you get your three marks each on that set of 10. All right, questions on that? Jeremy. Uh, I think my plan for this was that it was going to be due on Friday of next week. No, sorry. No, I want it before that because I want to be able to get it back to you before your exam. Um, let me look at that and I'll get the date set here. Okay. All right, so that'll be due due March 13th. Um, 
in this first section of 10, because that just reminded me. Okay, uh, so when you're writing it out, yes, just use plus signs in between the names and an arrow in between the reactants and the products. That's fine. Here's the other thing to remember. Um, a lot of people lose marks on this because they forget about things like when they need Roman numerals. Okay, so if we got an ionic compound with a multivalent metal, okay, they forget about that. They lose marks because they don't have the Roman numerals in the names. Okay, um, and one other one here. So on question number four, okay, on question number four, okay, a lot of people are going to look at this, okay, NO2. That is a compound, not a polyatomic ion. Okay, so this is not nitrite. Okay, it is not nitrite because it can only be nitrite if it's in a compound with a metal. It can actually also exist as a normal compound. Name it as a compound using the proper naming rules for that compound. Okay. Um, also, remember when you use your prefixes, basically, you got to remember all your naming stuff. Okay, and people sometimes, the one people forget is the Roman numerals. Okay, don't they also sometimes over apply it? I'm not saying put it on everything because obviously it only fits on your multivalent metals.